In this video, I'm going to show you how to refine your search results in historical records collection by the collections. Um, so I've entered my ancestor's name and his birth information, and I'm just going to click on search. And here we are on the um, results page. So at the top of the results page, you see that there are um, two tabs. You have records and collections. If you click on collections, it's going to take you to a list of all of the collections that um, are shown for the results in your on the results page. Um, this allows you to go through each different section and decide if your ancestor will likely appear in those collections. For example, if you have um, at the top you have birth, marriage, and death records. It tells me that it's showing five of twenty-five. Um, record collections under birth, marriage, and death. If I click um, show all 25, it's going to pop the screen open and I can look through this list and select the collections by clicking the box in front of the collection name um, and I can go through the list and click whatever ones I think my ancestor would appear in. And my ancestor lived in Kansas and California, so I would cl click all of those ones all of those kind of collections in this section. Then I can go through and I can choose the censuses, um, migration and naturalization records, or any military records. And I'm just going to choose um, World War One. I. I can choose up to 25 different collections to narrow or to get rid of the collections that I know he's not in and choose the collections that I know he m might be in. So after I've selected the different collections that I want to look through, I click on this blue button called filter these results. Once I click on that, it gives me, it takes me back to the search results screen and now I'm just looking at records in these three collections. So I can go through this list and see um, if any of these are my ancestor.